Twilight Princess. In the last episode, I mean, technically in the last episode, from what you're watching, we finished this temple. But, as you can probably guess from the sound of my voice, that's not the last thing I recorded. <laughs> yep, that's right, this is another re-record. Because I need a new capture card. Because <laughs> it keeps deleting everything. Um, anyway. As I was mulling over losing yet more footage, I realized something. Cutscenes are the same length, no matter what. So, I have the original audio recordings, too. So I will be playing my blind reaction over any cutscene that appears. As long as it's an important cutscene, not like, you know, just showing the area or something. So that made me feel a little bit better, especially in one of the upcoming episodes that I lost because I had such a fantastic reaction, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I was really upset over losing it, and then I realized that it took place over a cutscene, and I can just impose my original audio over those cutscenes, including this one. So we're going to get on in here, and then I'm going to be quiet so that I remember to put the original audio over this. Enjoy. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? You are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? My king? You, who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking! How dare you? Are you implying that my power is... our old magic? Now that is a joke. This power is granted to, be, to me by my god. It is the magic of the King of Twilight, and you will respect it. My Midna, did you forget? That beast is one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people. No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. 
And that, Midna, is why I need you. Not just for me, but for all our people. Lend me your power. So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. Link, hero chosen by the goddesses. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. All right. Okay, let's see if it's working now. I think we're fine now. <sighs> Audacity just about gave up on me too. <laughs> I'm glad I stopped it, otherwise I wouldn't have otherwise I would have lost a bunch of stuff. Um anyway. Uh Okay, I think it's still going. That scared me. Alright. <laughs> First I lose all my recordings for footage and now I'm losing audio. It's just a mess, guys. Anyway. So there's the cutscene. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it matched up all right. Okay, one more time. Please be working. I really don't want to lose this one too. <laughs> okay. Anyway, like I was saying, hopefully that worked. My idea with the cutscene thing. Hopefully I could I put my original reaction over that. If not, I, it was just probably four minutes of silence. But <laughs> really need to talk about because it sucks, but, okay, it's being slow again, I, I'm about to give up, honestly, <laughs> but it looks like it's still recording, so we're just gonna go with it, the audio, not the video, I think the video is okay right now, let me look, yeah, the video, <sighs> Why is it being so slow? I don't think it's my laptop. My laptop is literally a year old. I don't have anything else running either. Man, I wanted to rant about something else, but I might have to rant about my stupid computer. Mm, I can rant about- I can rant about what I was gonna rant about. It'll be fine. <laughs> so, you guys know how- <laughs> I do love how everyone screams and stuff when- when, uh, they see Wolfie Boy here. But, um, you guys know how I was watching, um, anime, right? Well, also that was months ago when I recorded that, but, um, So, it, it's literally been months since then. Anyway. I was watching, um... <laughs> is 
sorry, it's kind of funny every time that I scare someone. Okay. Let me just read this. Beast, get out! So I'm gonna have to read this part. You there! You're safe too, correct? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> mm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh, another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Please. Princess. Zelda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is make sure the humans don't notice you. Alright. Now, look, no, link, push. Sorry, save two, push, push. There we go. Anyway. So, the one that I had watched was, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. At the okay, um, I'm using my computer's built-in voice recorder now because Audacity literally gave up on me. Um, back to the game, and also to what I was talking about. So, um. yeah, I know. C'est moi. Um. So anyway, back to what I was talking about, because I, I, I really was going to rant about this, and then my technology gave up, so. <laughs> um. So, the show that I, that I was watch- or that I watched at the recommendation- I almost fell. No, he saw me! Sadness. Try it again. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, the show that I watched at um, my friend's request, like I said, was Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And I freaking loved it. So much. Like, you don't even understand. <laughs> so then, I'm... No, well, first off, at, at the convention I went to that I was talking about so long ago, I know. It's been months since then now. But, um, at that convention I went to, I bought a mystery box full of merch from it because, like I said, I really, really, really loved it. But, um, anyway, I'm in school now, and I think I mentioned that a couple episodes from now. Hey, where did that ghost come from? Hey, you! Don't just stand there and get that ghost! Let's tear its soul from its body! <laughs> but, um... Oh, th thanks for beating the ghost! C can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Gangle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, Doggy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Not that I'm not empathetic or anything. <laughs> 
Okay. But, um, anyway. As I was saying, I loved, loved the show so much. Like, like, we're talking pretty much obsession levels of love here. <laughs> but, um, so I have, I have this, this merch and stuff, and I put it on my backpack. Like, I got a pin, and I got, um, a lanyard, and I got a patch and stuff that I sewed on there, and, you know, all that stuff. So, I'm at school now. And I'm in French class, and one of the kids in there is like, "Oh my gosh, I love the stuff on your backpack." And I was like, "Oh, thanks. I really, or I really, really like the show." And um, so he asked if I've seen the original, because obviously Brotherhood is the remake. And I'm like, "No, not yet. I don't know, like, because I know that it doesn't follow the manga, you know." And so I was kind of worried about like how it would go and whatnot. So I asked, and he's like, oh, well, I've seen both of them. And so I said, which one do you like more? And he's like, oh, I can't choose between those. Or it's like choosing between children. So so me, me here was thinking, oh, that must mean that it's great. And I'm sorry to like anyone out there who likes the 2003, but oh my gosh, that was like, torture. The last- okay, no, I, I- I take that back. The first 40 episodes, I was all in, man. I was totally- I was vibing with it. I- there were some things I even liked more than in Brotherhood, but once- once we got to, like, about episode 40, and it just- it went off the rails, and I absolutely- oh, I could not. I was- I was texting my friend, um, the one who had me watch the original, or sorry, the remake. And I was like, have you seen the original? And she's like, no, because I know how different it is. Are you okay, Sirens? I don't even have the window open. <laughs> but anyway, um, so she's like, no, because I knew how different it was. So I was ranting to her, like the whole time I was watching those last five episodes. And, ugh, literally nothing made sense. It was all over the place. There was no cohesion at all. Ugh. I was so, so freaking upset by the ending and, ugh. It was, it was just tragic. I don't know. It's like... It's... It's almost 20 years old, so I guess if you guys, um, I feel like spoilers shouldn't really matter because, like I said, it's like almost 20 years old. But if you haven't seen it and you really plan on watching it, you can, like, just mute me or, I don't know, skip this. <laughs> skip to the next scene with dialogue because then I'll have to stop and read it. But, um... Where is... Is there another one? I thought there was another one. Oh, I have to go up there, don't I? Okay, there we go. Um... But... Man... The thing that, 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 like, made me the most angry, I think, was... The fact that I don't even know, like, where anything is anymore, because Edward going through the door of truth and taking him to frickin' Europe, and then they have no, he has no idea where that is, so Amestris isn't on Earth, is it? Yet, they all say that they're human. <laughs> it just makes zero sense to me. <laughs> Ugh. And, okay. Here's the thing about, about, um, 
This is gonna sound like a lot of hogwash to people that have no idea what I'm talking about, but I need to vent, okay? Um, <laughs> but, um, especially when I'm playing Zelda, so people are just like, uh, what's she talking about? But, <laughs> anyway. Hopefully there's somebody, there has to be someone, who knows what I'm talking about. The show that I'm talking about, but anyway. So in Brotherhood, the way that, that, um, that Ed and Al end up getting their bodies back is really, really good to me. Like, if, I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen, but if it was gonna happen, I could not have been, like, more satisfied with the way that it did. You know? Out of pure selflessness. That's, that's what I loved. I loved that. Pure selflessness on, um, on Al's part to, to help Ed. And then, obviously, selflessness with, with, um, Ed on Al's part. I thought that was fantastic. But then, in this series, spoiler alert, wait, why did I take that? There's literally stairs. <laughs> but spoiler alert, Ed is freaking killed, literally stabbed to death. And okay, so I can I can deal with that. That um. Al sacrifices himself to, to bring Bet to bring Edward back. I didn't like it, but I could deal with that, you know. No! <laughs> okay, I didn't fall that far. But you know, I could I could I could accept that. That was that was acceptable. That's an acceptable thing. Are you kidding me? Ugh! Okay. <laughs> anyway, like I said, that's an acceptable thing. But then Edward literally does the exact same thing to bring Al back? Like, what? Like, man sacrifices himself after Al already sacrificed himself and then ends up... goes back to, to, to Europe in World War I and all this crap and decides to live there while he tries to figure out how to get back to Al, and Al is 10 years old again, and has no memory of anything that he and Ed did on their journey, and ugh, it just frustrated the crap out of me. It was so terrible, it made me so angry. And you know, that, that's what happens when you lose your source material. Okay, there we go, we didn't fall that time. Because... <laughs> They decided to keep going with the show, even though there was no source material left for them to follow. And that's what happens. You get crazy stuff like that. I'm going full Midwestern now because I'm angry. <laughs> Ugh, it brought out the Midwestern accent in me. I can't. <laughs> but... Nah, man, it, it just, it, it made me so mad. There was no cohesion whatsoever. <laughs> Basically from the point where, um, I'd say, let's see, where did it start really going off the rails? It was really, like, in the mid-30s is when it started getting, like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. But once it hit, like, about four, episode 40, then I was like, no, I can't. But I came this far, so I had to finish it. And, man, it just left me dead inside. <laughs> but, um... Boy, when I go to French class tomorrow... Man's is gonna hear a rant from me. <laughs> I feel kind of bad that I'm gonna like be ranting because I know he loves it, but uh, I just could not with that. I think it it totally ugh. 
there were, like I said, there were a, a few things, like, near the beginning of the series that I honestly liked a little bit more. But it, it lost me, and I'm just so upset and distraught. <laughs> and it's not even real. <laughs> I understand now why they decided to remake it once they once the manga was finished like oof oof it really really got messed up <laughs> if if any of you guys out there are considering watching anything from that franchise watch brotherhood it's a million times better in my opinion and once again apologies to anybody who likes the 2003 I just could not with that. <laughs> and look at that, we finished my rant just about in time. I could have said more, but I feel like you've heard enough. I guess I'll just read this one. I won't, I won't superimpose my original over it. Please. How did we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help save too. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is a one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Farron. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Save two, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Save two. You can... You can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess. Oops, I didn't mean to hit A. I have one last request. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can you tell him where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who you are, just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds. It is just you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it to you. We go back, save two. Back to Farron Woods. Wait, 
Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. we will indeed go back there in the next episode. That is the other one that I lost footage to that I was really upset over, but I will definitely be playing um, my original reaction over that cutscene. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching and for listening to my nonsensical rant that has absolutely nothing to do with Zelda and I'm getting hit. But you know what? It's okay because I guess Link deserves it every once in a while. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, see you then.